Let's take a look at saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. So what is the big difference between these saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons? So when we have a hydrocarbon, it's made up of carbons and hydrogens, and that's the case for both saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. The big difference is when it's saturated, that means each carbon is bonded to four things. There are only single bonds. So this carbon here has one, two, three, and then that's bonded to this carbon, four. And that's the case for all of these carbons here. We even have a formula for this, CnH2n plus two. So we have one, two, three, four. So we should have two times four, that's eight plus two. We should have 10 hydrogens. And if you count them, we have 10 hydrogens. So for alkanes, these saturated hydrocarbons, we can use this formula. Unsaturated, that's where we have a carbon that's not attached to four things. Maybe it's one, two, three things, or maybe like this carbon here, it's only attached to one, two things. So we see that double bond there or a triple bond. If we have carbons and hydrogens with a double bond or a triple bond, that is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. And we can use these general formulas here for the alkenes and the alkynes. So take a moment and try this. Identify the two unsaturated hydrocarbons. They'll be the alkanes. So here we have a double bond. So we know that this cannot be an unsaturated. This is saturated because we have the double bond. So when we see the triple bond, this is saturated. So that's not one of them. Here again, triple bond, that's saturated. But here, each carbon has four things. It's all single bonds. So yep, this is one. And up here, carbon bonded to carbon, and each carbon has four bonds total. So that is unsaturated as well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.